Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. It is Tuesday. I cannot. I am a firm believer now. And I was a believer before, but it has been almost one Christmas because we had the Christmas, we had Christmas and everything was our last cryo session. Right. So it has been a month, over a month, and I am in pain. Well, I walked in and went. You said something. I woke up at 5.10 this morning. Uh, I could have done the show then. I was already up. And got up to go to the bathroom. <laughs> and from my knee down. <laughs> like in the bone? I'm not hurt. Ache. It, it almost felt like the flu. Ache. From my back. That's... Into my ass. And then from my knees into my feet and I walk I was like <laughs> look like a damn dinosaur <laughs> trying to get in there it was well, I, well, I, and <clears throat> I have no idea I don't think it's all cryo I think I think you know I have that little problem yeah but right here once in a while but that was supposed to help that that's blood flow I think our blood flow my show my have been my blood hurting. flows flying fine my have been hurting my shoulders have been hurting, and I did not hurt like this when we were doing cryo. So, and I, and I don't know if cryo will help this, but you do there, right here, I got a little snag, oh. and it kept catching in the sheets, and I forgot to fix it this morning. You didn't, you didn't do the old, oh, you didn't pull it's it down just, in there. It just got a little, little jag on it. You know, I keep my finger. I'm telling nice you, cut short. I learned this from Stephanie, like your shirt. Or your carpet, rub it like that, it'll, it'll like a file. I got fingernails like a, like a pterodactyl. That is true. And it'll probably rip my shirt. <clears throat> so I'm going to wait. <laughs> Elysium Cryotherapy, we are back tomorrow. We are going. I am not missing no more. I caught a cramp last night in bed at 3 o'clock in the morning in my calf. Mm. And I could not get my foot straightened. I did not yell because I didn't want to wake Stephanie up. So I rolled out of bed and I pushed against the wall and I felt like I wanted to cry. It hurt and it hurts right now like I have been punched in the calf. It is killing me. Hmm. Weird. Weird. <sighs> it's hell getting old. Uh, hell getting old. The Snoop Dogg commercial that Aaron Bird... Yeah, deal. I good. thought it was cute too. That was good. Uh, but Aaron they had done another form of that last oh, year, I think. Dude. And the, two or three years. The the Harley Davidson <clears throat> commercial. Well, it wasn't it was the Mercedes commercial, I think, with uh, Peter Fonda. My buddy Tom Proctor's the one that bumps mm -hmm. chest and gets the the necklace. I had seen that two weeks before the Super Bowl. Well, I wasn't talking about that exact commercial. They did one prior. Oh, do that? Might have been last year during the Super Bowl, but there was already one that was done. And that, that just popped. I just looked at the comments and saw that. Yep. That was, and, but that was a funny one, too, because that was the way she kept saying that. So Aaron was right there. <coughs> uh, All right. So remember I, la last week when yeah. I went tomorrow? I'm yeah, going to yeah, talk yeah. about this. You, you, you got it. I got it. Let's go. What is it? Do I make a Facebook post explaining that I wish I could invite everybody to the wedding, but no. I just can't? No. 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 Because there's some people that straddle the line that have to get left off. Yeah. No. Here it is, dude. I'm gonna hey, this is 2017. I'm you know how touchy people. I'm going to help you. Okay. I'm helping you right here. Here's the deal. My dad has said this a many a time. Okay? There's some things my dad has said too. This is my dad. Better not say it here. Boy, when you come into town, this is when I was married to Deborah. When you come into town, you go to your wife's mother's first and visit that family. Then you come to us you don't live with me no more. You live with her. 
So to keep your life happy, you keep her happy. So she has more friends than you. I'm, I'm saying family. Uh, family and friends. So the people you invite is, hey, I'm inviting these seven people because she has more family and friends and it's her day. It ain't your day. You're just part of this day. But I'm, a, I'm just afraid that people don't get that. It don't matter what they get. Y'all are getting it now. They, they all watch the show right now. Y'all are getting you, it. I wish they all watched it. We, we have it under control right now. Because here's the thing. At the end of the day, you don't live with those people. Well, at one couple, one couple has invited me to their wedding, has invited me to their everything, everything. But they're in a group of friends that I hang out with and they are the last group to start hanging out with that group. And they're really the only one in that group that's not invited. But it's simply like you said, I just ran out of room. If I had a pile of money, but it don't we matter. would have a, we'd just but shut the backyard down and have a party. I agree, but it, it don't matter. This is how it has to be. Your bride has more family and friends than you do. That is it. If you don't understand that, you shit out of luck. That that's what I'm saying. And if you get butt hurt, they ain't your real friends. Well, if you want me to step that. I'll just come do the best man, and then I'll go over here, and then I'll let they can come in to the no, after party. Ain't. What I'm saying is they're not. That ain't what I'm saying. I know. You, I'm just you saying want to invite everybody, but you can't. I want to know where that line is because <laughs> I don't know. It's one of those deals. We have 200 spots. Really 180. Brooks, put your list together. I'll put mine together. All of hers is family. Yeah. And about four friends. Okay, here's my list. One seventy five. <laughs> so here's my list. Sixty five. Because I knew she had more. Well, mine's up to about eighty, and hers is down to about one six uh, one thirty five. Well then you're good. <clears throat> but mine's still small compared to hers. But it is her day. At the end of the day, it's her day. It'll be my night. If she wants 150, <laughs> you give her 150. Oh, I, uh, she knows. She knows that. No, I'm talking. About, we're talking about that. And, and you guys comment on. And this. I'll be honest. And people that are watching it that will get an invite, there's an RSVP. RSVP when you get it, because what happens is if her aunt and uncle from Houston. Don't no, we're it. not coming. Then you have to. Then she spots. can invite two more of her people. Right, I get it. I get it. That's that's how we want to play it. So anyway. there was a reason I got married at Jacob's Ladder, and you were the maid of honor and the best man. Pulled and it took off. two minutes, and Gary was still late to take the pictures. <laughs> but I ain't worried about that. That's a good point. So give us your give us your. It was just y'all's anniversary like a week ago or so, huh? No, I think it's it's in March. It's like March the something. It's on the board in there, so I won't forget. <laughs> I thought uh, I saw a picture come up the other day. Uh, no, it is March. It's I got, I'll check. It's on the board. She wrote it, so I would never forget. That's uh, a man's man right there. <laughs> that's how she does it. Uh, give us your comments because that's a good that's a good topic right there. That's a good that's a good deal of. This is really. Because I get this all the time. I, I ain't seen my invite. Really? And I go, you ain't getting one. <laughs> and I play it off, you know. Like, that but, is but these are people like Colt and Joey and, and those guys that are down at the backyard yeah. on Sunday playing. And, I, you know, they understand. And I, everybody understands if I go, I wonder dude, it's her day. if they really want to go. Because, like me, if, we, if, if, if I was not in the wedding, and we wasn't best friends. If it was, no, I, they didn't want. They don't want to go. Okay, it's, it's just a deal. But Cindy, 
I, you hadn't called for my address yet. And I know she would want to be invited. Yeah. Well, she's known you a long time. And uh, her man banks there. So she he knows Brooks and, and everybody yeah, that, at the bank. That. And, but, but, when you have a number, but when you have a number, that should that should pretty much everybody knows. I got 200 spots. <clears> the <throat> woman's going to have more. I only got this many. So, me. Sorry. That's it might be works. like the kicker in the NFL draft. I may let one come just out of pity. <laughs> one more person. God dang. Give us your opinion. I, I want to know what you think Chris should do. And the people who watch this show and have watched this show for years know this is bothering the hell out of me. Oh. You know it is. Yeah. I, I, it, I totally agree with that. It is so, bothering you. I, what is your opinion? What do you think? And everybody can respond to this except Ferris. Ferris? Because he threw a little jab at the Cowboys yesterday after our show. So everybody but Ferris can respond to this deal. Well, that's just Ferris. Take that, Ferris, you Green Bay Packer. There was somebody else I wanted to give a shout-out to the other day. I forgot. You know what I've been forgetting lately? What? Real quick. <clears throat> Is names. Like people that I have known forever. <clears throat> you talking about like if you see them out or something like that? At the Baylor Club eating. Okay. <clears throat> Guy walks up. Hey. Matt Brooks. <laughs> he goes, Kevin. I went, bitch, I know your name. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> I'm Kevin a, Griden. I, know, I, tell I go, you yeah, this is my buddy, uh, Dar <laughs> uh, Dar Ferris. Dar you know, you know. Right? That's Ferris and Darren's buddy right here, that guy. And do. I've known him for 10 well, years now. And. You're getting old. <clears throat> I go, where's your woman at? Oh, she's down here. I go back to eating. I went, if Lorraine comes by, I got to remember that. Brooks. <laughs> I forgot it again. Let me tell you what you're good at. You're a good. You're good at being. I'm on. You are good at being. This is my woman. I'm gonna introduce her to here. This is my. Cause I do this now. What's up, man? How you been? Yeah, yeah. Stephanie knows. When I don't know. When I don't say these words. Hey, uh, she knows. I'm Stephanie. Cause I don't know. You got to teach Brooks the step in move. Well, I have the move, and, and it usually works. If I go, hey man, this is Russell. Ru they usually go ahead and go, hey, I'm so and so. Yeah, you got it. You got to teach. But them you got to sometimes you got to go, hey man, uh, this is uh, Russell. You got to give that pause. That's why I don't even do that. You got to give that pause. That's just a good move. move. That's a good move. <laughs> I just do the shake. I go shake. Hey, buddy. And when I go to the hey buddy and I don't say your name, Stephanie knows I don't know the name and will step in. You got that's all you got. To well, do. she's been with me enough to go, hey man, what's going on? And I step back and she goes, you didn't know him, did you? I went, nope. Well, that's when she got to do the step in. Teach yeah. her the step in. Simple move. But I, I am that polite. I always introduce, always introduce, always introduce, no matter what, to new people or whatever. <clears throat> and a lot of people don't. I do. Yeah, you're totally right. I, at this point, I don't. Just like I will introduce myself to her friends so she don't have to. Well, she knows all their names. but And they know me all on Facebook. And a lot of people know Stephanie from the nursing. So, but I, she told me that. She said, don't worry. I, I'll know if you don't know. Right. And I went, whew, this is easy. Well, but you are, you have been raised enough, raised good enough to know if y'all went Back to Chillicothe, oh, and you ran into course. somebody. You would go, "Hey, this is my wife, Stephanie." Stephanie, yeah. I said, "This is my second wife, Stephanie." <laughs> oh, yeah. First one was Stephanie too. No, just that's that's don't bring her up. Uh, yeah, don't bring her up. Uh, she, uh, Stephanie, always watches. And I'm sure I'll get a jab. <laughs> anyway, but she don't have her own show. That's right. She show don't. So nobody's gonna see it. Uh, lunch special today: barbecue chicken sandwich. Now listen, it's good. I have had this before, and it is good. But our shout-out today is Elysium Cryotherapy 
We are back there on Wednesday. If you don't know what this stuff does, look it up. I am giving a plug to them because my body hurts and we did it and it proved getting that tank freeze to death for three seconds. Three blood minutes. flow. Forces Ooh. blood into all the areas of your body to help it. Oh, I could fall out right yeah. now. I hurt so bad. All right, we're going to get out of here, man. Watch, like, share. Until tomorrow, I am Russ. This is Chris, and we are.